Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we will show you how to test the seat belt pretensioner on Chevy Cruze, guys. If you have a code for seat belt pretensioner or circuit open, guys, we'll explain how to test it and make sure that it's the seat belt pretensioner and it's not something else. Quick introduction, guys. We'll have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why? Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully, you will find the information helpful. If you guys need to buy any parts for your car or tools, check out the link in the description of the video below. You can find parts for a really good price and quick shipping as well. So let's go ahead show you guys how to test that thing now. So this is guys the pretensioner. Okay, right there. So you have to be extremely careful how you handle that thing because that is like a mini explosive right here guys. What it does, actually if you're in an accident, okay, it's going to blow up and it's going to shorten your seat belt okay from being that long it's going to be probably about that long so you will shorten that much and what that does it takes the slack out of the belt and keeps you uh, tied to the seat so now be very careful how you handle those guys this is the connector it has okay the connector has two wires inside okay you can see like that so these two wires now guys okay we will need to go ahead and uh, use the voltmeter and now if you're guys on the market for really really good voltmeter okay let me just okay support it so you can see it. if you're on the market for a good voltmeter check this thing out the link will be in the description of the video below so what we are going to use now okay let me flip the wire so you can see we have it set at ohms it's reading ohms and now we need to guys test the pretensioner doesn't matter which way you go with the red and the black thing and we're waiting on a reading what do we get guys two okay i got it loose i lost it 2.3 2.4 come on give me just a second Okay, 2.4, 2.5, guys, this is it right there. So a good pretensioner will be between usually 2 and 3 ohms. Ours is 2.4, that's amazing. Between 2.2 .2 and 2.7 usually is what you're striving for, but most of them will be around 2.5. So you can see that's the resistance, guys, 2.5 ohms. That is a very good pretensioner. If it's blown, it will show zeros, guys. It's like you're not communicating. This is due to the fact that uh, the circuit will be open on the inside. Now, one thing to check for is that wire. Okay, if you still measure zero, check the wire that it's not broken somewhere because it uh, maybe it got under the seat and somehow it broke. So that could happen as well. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.